Humanity has always had a fascination with the stars and that which lies beyond them. So it was only a matter of time before we sent a bunch of our earthly junk beyond our atmosphere to add to the majesty of space. 10 Bizarre Things We've Sent Into Space Luke Skywalker's Original Lightsaber In 2007, for two whole weeks, a space shuttle carried a lightsaber. Not just any lightsaber either, but Luke's original lightsaber held by Mark Hamill in 1983's Star Wars Return of the Jedi. This piece of cinema history was escorted onto its shuttlecraft by no less than three stormtroopers. How cool is that? Amelia Earhart's scarf and watch. Some families just have the spirit of adventure inside them, and it is readily apparent in the descendants of Amelia Earhart. In 2009, Earhart's grandson, astronaut Randy Bresnik, carried her scarf into space. A year later, acclaimed female pilot and member of the 99s, Sharon Walker, carried the adventurer's timepiece out of orbit. Playboy. In 1969, NASA launched its second manned mission to the moon, and with it, some very sexy stowaways. One of the tech crews sneakily inserted Playboy spreads into the astronauts' checklists, which are attached to their wrists, along with the caption, See any interesting peaks and valleys? Human remains. We are all made of stardust, but some people might have just a little more of it than the rest of us. Renowned sci-fi writer Arthur C. Clarke, Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry, and beloved actor James Doohan, who played Scotty on Star Trek The Original Series, have all met their final peace beyond the confines of our world through the aid of interstellar burial service, Celestis. You too can have an out-of-this-world burial experience for roughly $12,500. Two golden orb spiders named Gladys and Esmeralda. These two tiny celebrities traveled in style as part of the last flight of the Endeavour on May 16, 2011. The goal for some of the tiniest astronauts was to observe the effects of zero gravity on their web weaving and hunting abilities while hundreds of thousands of school children across the globe live streamed the experiments from their classroom. Pizza. Pizza Hut paid nearly 750,000 pounds in 2000 to become the first company to deliver pizza to space. To Russian cosmonaut Yuri Yusachov, I sure hope you remember to tip, tardigrades. More commonly known as water bears, tardigrades are the smallest non-bacteria astronauts that we have sent to space and so far the only living animal that has survived the harshness of outer space for 10 days. Also, if you needed any further proof that scientists were nerds, the German and Swedish scientists in charge of the project called it tardigrades in space, or TARDIS for short. A sample of salmonella. Food poisoning is generally terrible, and fun fact, strands of salmonella have been proven to become even more deadly aboard the space shuttle Atlantis in 2007. The bacteria showed signs through testing to have increased its deadliness threefold once it returned to Earth. Gross. All sorts of sperm. Okay, we have sent a lot of sperm into space. Everything from bulges to sea urchin splooge. We have checked to see if low gravity levels would affect its potency, and lo and behold, it has. Almost every sample of animal procreant that we have ejected from our planet behaves differently when beyond our orbit. Well, except for one. Cockroaches procreate in exactly the same manner in space, so that's awesome. A corn beef sandwich. John Young was not thrilled about the dehydrated space chow and tang provided on the 1965 Gemini 3 mission, so he decided to bag his own lunch from his favorite deli. NASA has a strict rule against most messy earth foods, as crumbs from said delicacy could lodge themselves inside of sensitive equipment and cause a deliciously deadly disaster. As time goes on, we're sure to spend more weird things into space. But for now, these are my weirdest. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos like this one, check out our main page. And don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks.